Welcome back to SB Nation. It is breaking news that the NFL has levied suspensions on current and former Saints defenders in the wake of the bounty situation. Brad Wells, of course, our league expert, joins us. So, first of all, what happened? Well, the NFL uh, suspended players today. We've been kind of waiting for this for a while. They suspended four players. So Will Smith, defensive end for the Saints, was suspended for four games. Okay. Scott Vegeta was suspended for three games. Anthony Hargrove was suspended for eight games. And Jonathan Vilma was suspended for the entire 2012 season, effective immediately. So some pretty harsh penalties uh, levied down by Roger Goodell on these players. So let's go through these players one by one. I know a couple of these guys are no longer on the Saints. One by one, what is their expected impact? What was their expected impact? impact this upcoming season. Well, with Jonathan Vilma, he's sort of been their main guy in the middle there for their defense. Right. And without him, they don't win the Super Bowl in 2009. That said, last year, he was kind of playing on fumes a little bit. They signed two free agents this past offseason. So I don't think they expected much out of Jonathan Vilma. And if they did, they clearly had a plan in place to replace him. Uh, so I think with him, they're OK. Right. With Will Smith, though, you don't quite know. He's been a pretty good player for them on the defensive line. Four games for him is going to be significant. Their pass rush really wasn't all that good with him. Without him, it's even worse. Right. And so Fujita quickly on the Browns. Fujita with the Browns. He's a veteran player for them. I think that they'll be fine with uh, without him. They've they've got a good nucleus in there in place. Um, Hargrove with the Packers is interesting. They got some draft picks this past weekend, which we talked about on our yes, YouTube channel. So I think they're going to be fine there too because he really. I mean, he was sort of a veteran presence in there. I think when it's all said and done, the Packers and the Browns will be fine missing those two players. I think it's the Saints that are going to be hurting with the two guys they miss. What can they do going forward until the season? If anything, I mean, they, they, they signed the free agents. Is there? I mean, they just have to sort of absorb this at this point. They have to absorb it at this point. Now, give the Saints credit; they did enough, I think, to sort of absorb it to a certain point. Maybe there's some guys in the waiver wire they can get. Teams are going to cut players once they cut down to the 53-man yep. roster in August. So maybe they get some guys there. But at the end of the day, these guys are gone, and replacing them will be hard, but not impossible. That is Brad Wells, NFL league expert. This has been SB Nation. Of course, comment down below on your thoughts about all of the Saints bounty suspension. Subscribe up above for more on the same story and all NFL offseason news. We will see you soon.